Well, we're leaving Tim's place here in Breckenridge, Colorado. Tim was a fantastic host. Uh, he really set the bar for the other host. Uh, had an absolutely great time with him. So we're headed towards Hot Sulphur Springs today. Uh, Carl and Elizabeth are supposed to stay with Tim tomorrow, or actually tonight. Uh, yeah, so let's see what the road has to offer us today. The stream here to the uh, right uh, runs right through Breckenridge. So uh, I don't know how long we'll follow the stream, but I imagine probably for quite a while. Sunrise in the Rockies in Breckenridge, Colorado. near uh, Silverthorn. Uh, this lake is at 9,000 feet. Well, we're back on the highway. Uh, it's pretty well a 70 mile downhill ride. There's a little ups, but for the most part, the general direction is moving downward. So we've dropped in elevation. We're down to about uh, 8,300 feet. So we've dropped about 3,000 feet. Yeah.
amazing view. So, I don't know if the camera can pick it up or not. But uh, you can see the rain piling up on the, the mountains over there. What happens is, as the wind blows, the clouds get there, condense, you get a lot of pressure, and it squeezes the moisture out of the clouds. So, hopefully, the road that we're on kind of steers clear of the mountains a bit. That way the rain stays away from us, so it has been sprinkling a little bit. We're entering Byers Canyon in Colorado, near Hot Sulphur Springs. I feel like you're getting swallowed up here. to rain most of the afternoon after we got here um, we got our camp set up quickly because it was starting to sprinkle and uh, it's been sprinkling or rain pretty good ever since so we haven't had hey, I haven't got rained on since mineral Virginia so it was bound to happen but uh, everything is super wet uh, you just feel damp yucky sticky and uh you just know that sleeping tonight is not going to be very fun so we've seen a lot of good things and now you get to see one of the sucky parts of uh cycle touring so we'll see what happens in the morning oh yeah and it's going to be like 45 degrees in the morning and we're sleeping outside so yeah that'll be fun <laughs>